Hello everyone, this is Automaxman, and today I'll be going over the CMonkey web browser. Now, CMonkey is actually a web browser based on the Mozilla engine. It's sort of like a fork between the Firefox and the uh, Mozilla suite. This is actually a legacy web browser built in with a new types of kernel. And you're going to see that the whole interface from back uh, around 10 years ago is still, it still stands strong. You have a, a sidebar with bookmarks history and um, search and address book and etc. We'll be going over that later on. Now, but the first thing we'll look at is about CMonkey. CMonkey has a version of 2.8 right now. It's a portable uh, web browser as well so you can carry it on your flash drive. And overall it is a really good web browser if you're into an alternative uh, version of Mozilla or you just want to have something a little bit different. Now, everyone will be asking what's the asset browser test? We'll perform it right now. And you have a hundred out of a hundred, so to pass a test, the browser must use its default settings. The animation has to be smooth. The score to end on one hundred out of one hundred, and the final page has to look exactly pixel for pixel. So that works out very, very nicely. Now, in CMonkey, you're gonna have some stuff in here that other web browsers probably won't have. You have an add-ons manager, of course, Mozilla has that, but as a web browser of such nature, you do have add-ons. And you do have extensions, you got a JavaScript debugger, DOM inspector, Chatzilla, appearance. Um, you can always change appearance and just on the fly, you can restart. And there it is, change it back. Oh, by the way, that's actually the default uh, user interface uh, skin on that one. So restart. You can see the the most nice thing about um, CMonkey, its performance. Usually CMonkey doesn't have uh, the same thing about uh, Firefox. So you're going to have a faster startup, faster speeds most of the time. Uh, for extensions, you can actually search extensions. Let's say you want to download a YouTube video, you can start loading one search and you'll see that you can have a download um, extension. You can try it, download it and install it. You can restart it now. And you can see that an add-on has been, has been added. Now, since I'm not a very um, familiar with that add-on, I'll just look for it. And of course you can also um, do a lot of things with this uh, web browser by the way. You got a uh, mail and news group client, you got composer, you got address book. That's sort of like with the database management this web browser has that other web browsers lack. Alright. So we'll just give you an example of the GTP. Let's search for PowerBook. Money. You can see you can have download a YouTube video out of it. You get a download button. You can download it as a flash video. Of course, you can't hear it, I believe. You can download it as an MP4 to play it on a Core Lumia player. This is no wow uh, extension, of course. It's not something that's new, it's been around for qu quite a while. Going back to the extension managers, add-ons, the plugins as well, and this is really important because with plugins, uh, the operating system sort of integrates into the web browser. So, for example, a Google Earth plugin, who knows, maybe for Street View, um, Walking View, I guess, iTunes uh, application detector, and uh, Java. All those things are uh, categorized on plugins. You can get get out, uh, get an add-on and extensions. Um, add-ons are a little bit more popular than extensions because extensions used to be a legacy layer of add-ons. Now, add-ons is more like the App Store than some stuff from Firefox. Continue download. Get the news box. And it will prompt you to install. And notice this window is the same, if not almost the same, uh, window you will see on Firefox. 
So it, it is it is compatible. Most of the uh, user interfaces and add-ons are indeed compatible with some conversions. So you got a bug. Try it again. Let's try another uh, plugin. Another add-on. Um, classic Firefox team, for example. All the stuff out there. Now, the reason I use uh, uh, Mozilla SeaMonkey daily is because one, mostly because of the the looks of it, the appearance. It's just like using Firefox, but it has a older type of interface, which I really like. And second, because it's fast. I don't have to wait about five seconds for a web browser window to open up in a very mission mission critical day. Now, for the last thing we'll go over, database management, email, clients, um, address. You see right here we have an address uh, bar. And let's say you want to insert a new contact. And we'll say, you know, you can insert a contact in here and, you know, let's say, let's see monkey. And you can put an email and all those things private, work, other, photos, personal address book into other contacts. And the reason I'm going over this briefly is because the other features about SeaMonkey are a little bit more important such as mail. Well, by the way, you can actually integrate contacts with the mail app. So this is a, a whole thing stuck into one thing, like put into one box. And of course, you can set up an email account, your name, Everything that a typical uh, email client will have, but you can carry it within the web browser. It has been modularized into the web browser. Which is kind of smart because, you know, you can now carry the whole thing onto one flash drive. But here's your window. And you have all the options you have on the Thunder, uh, Thunder Mail client. Thund Thunderbird Mail client, I guess. And you got composers and all those things you want to look at. Because the composers are really important to look at. It's something that a developer all is some developers must tool. IRC chat if you want to get into the Linux chat rooms. And by the way, this um, web browser currently runs on all the versions of Windows XP from Windows XP all the way from Windows 7. No support on Windows 8, I can confirm, but I guess it'll go smoothly if you give it a, a try. Linux by default has that has it if you get it from the uh, packers from the application packaging um, I believe SeaMonkey is actually built in, into KDE or it used to be built in KDE not quite sure about that one you're gonna see that SeaMonkey has a kind of older interface so you're gonna see the downloads are actually in a separate window that's really uh, sort of like neat because Sometimes when you don't have downloads in, uh, in a separate window, you're going to get a whole overflow of downloads, and that's not that good. Download Manager. Search. The nice thing about SeaMonkey here is that when you have a search, uh, and you put in your favorites, you can type something, and it'll show up in here. So no, no longer do you have to actually look at the search, um, sort of like the bookmarks and dig through thousands of bookmarks. You can just search the title or a description of it, because SeaMonkey, of course, you know, has a feature where you can actually store details about the website. So you would say bookmarks, bookmark this page, and you'll have it on your bookmarks. Now, of course, I um, I can't see it very well, but you can have it on the bookmarks. Let's try it again. Hit Control D. Oops. Put it back, and here we have the new bookmark uh, window. So you got the name, the title, location of the address, folder, bookmark menu. If you want to put it in the toolbar, or you want to put it in the menu, menu is right around here. And it'll give you a description. Save, and let's search for history, iMac. Let's see how that shows up. Safari. Did you get the idea? Let me just search this better. Okay. Let's search a bookmark. You just hit Apple and you hear this. 
so no longer you have to tap to endless file drawers just to get to the bookmark. Uh, so far we have support for uh, yes battery right now but no matter uh, support for Flash and Adobe Shockwave and Java are built into the web browser. So that's just a brief uh, description on how uh, CMonkey is and what is the difference between CMonkey and Firefox mostly it is the user interface. So hope you enjoyed the video and please have a subscription. Thank you.